another valuable lesson from looking at the world from an Australian point of view is to break down one of the deep assumptions we have about the development of human civilizations. In a first year anthropology course at a university, you tend to lay out the history of human species in the way that it's been laid out since the 18th century in a series of progressive stages. First of all, and for most of human history, there were hunting and gathering bands, creaming off the surface of nature. Then about 10,000 years ago, you got the development of what are called tribal societies. And there were two kinds. There were one kind that lived in forests, such as these, and there were the other kind that lived off animals in savannas and deserts. So you get the domestication of animals and the domestication of plants, mainly by burning down what's called swiddening in forests and then growing crops in the burnt area. And that lasted for until quite recently, but it was the predominant form for four or five thousand years. And then you got the development of settled agriculturalists, what we roughly call peasants. Cities, writing, pottery, weaving, all those things iron working. And alongside them, a vast rural population living using plows and animals in settled agriculture. And that peasant stage, we're told, lasted up till two or three hundred years ago. The whole world was a large peasant civilization. And then about 300 years ago, you get the beginning of something new, which we tend to take for granted, which is our industrial scientific civilization. So those are the four big stages, hunting, gathering, tribal, peasant, industrial. But Australia is different. It had hunting gathering for a very long time. It didn't evolve into any kind of tribal society, no domestication of animals and plants on a serious level. So 300 years ago, it was still around here, a hunting gathering society. And then in a very, very brief period, in a hundred years, it switched from that, leaving out the supposed necessary stages of tribalism and peasant agriculture, straight into an industrial, basically urban, scientific kind of civilization which you see now. So it's a very peculiar place because having extinguished more or less the hunting gathering stage within a hundred years, it is even more than America, a born modern nation. All the assumptions of modernity, its assumptions about politics, about equality, about the status of women, about how you should earn a living, even about religion, all those things suddenly swept in here, destroyed hunting gathering way of life. So it moved from one stage to the last stage that we know of, although no doubt this isn't the last stage, without the middle stages. So it warns us against thinking that all civilizations have to move through these stages.